Meanwhile, hospitals in the Lowcountry are saying that they are monitoring this storm closely and receiving daily updates on it. News is Jordan Siopa live at the Medical District of downtown Charleston, and Jordan officials have been staying on top of the situation. Well, Brendan, as you know, the medical district in downtown Charleston is no stranger to flooding and hospitals there and across the low country are preparing as much as they can to keep patients and staff safe. Low country hospitals are preparing for the potential impacts of Hurricane Ian. We have to be concerned about whether we need to shelter in place or if we still have access to our facilities because People still have emergency uh, medical conditions that need care. Even though a storm is coming, people still have babies. Roper Hospital is located right in the heart of Charleston's medical district, which is prone to flooding. Leaders there say they've activated their emergency operations center where they participate in daily briefings on the storm. We have really robust sheltering in place plans. So if we have to, we know that a hurricane is coming, we will activate our A and B storm teams to shelter in place and spend the night and stay downtown. We also bring in additional resources, make sure we have food and nutrition supplies to last many days. It's a similar protocol at Trident where the president and CEO says storm prep includes working to ensure they have 96 hours worth of supplies. We look at uh, everything that the hospital uses to stay operational for 96 hours. Uh, it, we look at uh, pharmaceutical supplies, our uh, medical equipment that we use. We look at food and water. And while flood water can pose a threat to hospital access, Charleston County EMS officials say they have high water vehicles if needed. They also say patients will be transported to other hospitals if downtown is not accessible. I think that, you know, when it comes to emergency planning, whether we're talking about a tropical storm that's coming at us or an earthquake event, I, the biggest uh, readiness posture that we can take as an organization is to collaborate with our partners. Our partners of the county, obviously EMS, other hospitals. Now from a patient standpoint, both hospitals say they won't notice any changes. Reporting live in Charleston, Jordan Siopa, Count on Two.